How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to the next episode of the Let's Play Dragon Fable series and today we are going through the next part of the Book Tree Saga, The Golden Hand. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So previously we discovered that Acanthus was uh, preparing some sort of a big giant doomsday bomb device, but let's see what we have now. Okay, and this is Magus, uh, this Mag Magus Neron, I think. Yeah, what are we going to do? It was difficult enough to manage one with, but now they're open across the kingdom. Until we receive word from Sword Haven, we must continue to defend Amityville. Kara of the Vein, you and your fighters are welcome to assist us. However, we do understand if you wish to move your forces elsewhere. Without coordination from the Queen, we cannot know where aid is most required. Our own scouts have been tracking this situation. Unfortunately, we may need to reinforce the Northern Fronts as they are the fathers from Sword Haven and Rose resources. Oh. Oh wait, I clicked too fast. What's that? It seems I was mistaken. This is meant for you, Lady Kara, and this one is yours, Let's Play DF. And here I thought we would be receiving directions from Sword Haven. Let's Play DF. By decree of Queen Victoria of the Kingdom of Green Guard, your presence is immediately requested in Sword Haven regarding the urgent matter of the Magisterium attack. Mine is the same. You are requested to travel to Sword Haven. Are you comfortable with this, Kara? I'm going. Are you sure? You're the leader of the Vin. If Lady Janet were to capture you, I cannot guarantee that. No, if Janet is there, then I'll have the opportunity to talk to her. I'll have protection too once we arrive. My safety is not of concern. Let's play DF and my bodyguard will accompany me. And when what of your Vin, your troops? Thank you for your concern, Neron. I'll have to attempt to them before we leave. I guess that means you're off to Sword Haven. I apologize, but it seems that once more you must travel alone. The Vin must have their orders before I can leave. I understand. I'll meet you in Sword Haven. Don't worry, we shall be one step behind you. Try to get us some orders too, would you? Okay. Uh, and after heading all the way here, we have to go all the way back to Sword Haven. Yeah, so that was a mega waste of time for no reason at all. But you know what? Orders are orders, right? Damn, I'm out of water. Okay, never mind. Guess I'll refill it after this. Oh, come on. 28 health. Okay. Nice. So heading back to Sword Haven. Can't remember which way is which, but whatever. Okay. Extra attack. Spider Venom. Flash. So we have the shield up, so we should be fine. Okay, so I'm going to do Scorpion Venom now. Then we can Viper Venom and then we can do Multi. Yeah, because the Multi is dependent on how many stacks of Venom you have. Or maybe I should just Multi. Maybe I just Multi. Yeah. Let me just go ahead and do Multi. Oh, okay, so it's not equal damage. It's based on how many stacks one enemy has. Okay, so if an enemy doesn't have that many stacks, you don't you don't do more damage against them either. Interesting. Uh spider. I mean I guess it doesn't matter, right? Oof. Very low damage. What is that? Okay, can I even kill him? I don't think I can. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Damn it. Okay, let's go for Thunderhead. Uh, Thunderhead, we will do Vanish. Then we can Shadow. Okay, nice. We still managed to get rid of him even without any Venom stacks. Many hours later, I finally spot Sword Haven in the distance. Onwards. So as you guys can see here, uh, this class, Ninja, the newly revamped Ninja class is really really unsuitable for regular questing it's, uh, But that being said, it is very good for handling like a single enemy But multiple enemies and like long quests so is generally not that good uh, Especially if you are a non da player I do want to make a Ninja class guide soon But I don't know when I will have the time for that uh, maybe in like a month maybe, or two months time. I really don't know. I really want, uh, like I really really want to do it. It's been something on my list ever since I saw the revamp came out. And I think a lot of people will find it helpful. But you know, just too busy nowadays to even have the time to make specialized videos as much as I want to. So yeah, I'll try my best. But you guys definitely can stay tuned and wait for that exciting video, okay? Okay. 
Sandstorm. This should do it, right? Maybe normal attack will be faster since normal attack will just take it out. Ooh, okay, wow. A lot, a lot of enemies here. Damn. <laughs> I thought Sword Haven in the distance would mean that we are getting close, like really close, but no, looks like we are still quite far away. Okay, nice. So I think we need to do the Venom because I don't think we have enough to finish him off. Two dots. No, not enough. Yeah, very close though. Oh man, I forgot how cool the attack animation of Fire Ray is. Oh, and the death animation is super duper cool as well. Has it always been like that? Yeah, I think it's always been like that. It definitely looks like an old animation. But ah, damn, that is so cool. Very, very nice. And of course, it survives with a sliver of health. Nice crit. Little kind of pointless. Uh, can't really see. I think it's up here. Okay, I think we go for darkness. Definitely no. We don't. Okay, never mind. Blur. Spider. Scorpion. Last. Let's just finish this, there we go. Alright, yeah, this is the right path. Okay, here we are back in Sword Haven with the map. And this is Book Tree's Trevor map for those of you guys who can recognize it. Thank you for answering my summons, Lady Kara, let play DF. Lady Jenna says that you are the leader of the Vin, Lady Kara. It is a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is all mine, Your Majesty. Jenna has told you true, I am the leader of the Vin. Wonderful, now down to business. Given the current situation of the Magisterium's assault on the Kingdom, I will hope to negotiate a truce between the forces of the Rose and the Vin. No, not a truce, a temporary alliance. Forgive my interruption, my queen, but that is not what you. An alliance, unifying the people of Green Guard against this threat. We cannot afford to be divided during this time of peril. The Vin would like to be agreeable on this, to this, but our people are still persecuted by the Rose. Rose operations have been constantly pestered by the actions of the Vin. This is unacceptable. Can't you just agree not to fight each other for the greater good? My queen, it is not so simple. Our people have been in a prolonged skirmish. There are grudges and resentments on both sides, as well as prejudices and assumptions. The Vin kidnapped the king. Even now, he is undoubtedly in their grasp. That's a lie, Jania. Lady Kara, is this true? Are you holding my father against his will? While we cared for his wounds for some time, he has since recovered and left of his own accord. He mentioned that he had some personal business to attend to. It was not my place to pry into the affairs of the king. Of course she will deny it. And let's play the game. Can you corroborate this, if, this information? I can. Lady Kara speaks the truth. Unbelievable. The king, my father, he was well when he left? He was. He made it clear that he was proud of you and had full confidence in your abilities. I see. Lady Jania. She's only telling you what you want to hear. Lady Jania, I trust Lesbi DF, and since he can vouch for Lady Kara, I believe her. Do you mistrust the judgement of your queen? I do not, your majesty. Then, as the leaders of the Rose and the Vin, you who have gathered so many followers, you must inspire your people to put aside their differences in the face of the end of the world. Perhaps you could try, it will not be easy. If you so command it, my queen. Politics is easy. Jania, if I may have a word, I must send out our new orders and return to my research, but... Lady Kara, please forgive Lady Jania for this. She believes she may be able to close all the rifts. As such, her time is quite valuable. Her research? What are you planning, Jania? That brings us to you, let's play DF. How are you doing? I am quite well, Your Majesty. What can I do for you? While well, I have full confidence in Lady Jania's abilities, you are quite resourceful. I would like you to search for any alternate methods of closing the rifts. That won't be necessary, my queen. My plan is... Your plan is still just that, a plan. I will not gamble with the lives of my subjects. I understand. Good. Is this agreeable to you? I was planning to do just that all along, your majesty. So yes. Glad to hear it. Now I'm sure you all have a lot of business to attend to, but we must first set up some preliminary logistics. Send messages. Oh, what is the... Oh, what is this? 
golden hand. This is our first introduction. Behind me, your majesty, this magic. And here we see Oshomia and Sislava. Okay, you can see here, uh, oh, not very good for the layering. I don't know how they layered this, but yeah, this could be something that they can fix. Verli and Dove, if you are watching this and uh, planning to do a revamp of this in the future, which I'm sure they will, so just fix the layering, they'll be okay. Identity, Identify yourselves, intruders, before I toss you into the dungeons. It appears we've made it alive, Oshomia. Oh, good. Hello there, primitives. What is the meaning of this? I'm called Seslava. I'm Oshomia. We are Division OCM of the Golden Hand. We have been sent by the Magisterium of the Shapeless Empire. By decree of the Shapeless and at great cost and personal risk. To negotiate and assist in this unfortunate incident. Most unfortunate incident. The Magisterium. They must not be trusted, Your Majesty. Oh, the meddler. Most convenient. We are to negotiate with you as well. But we are not allowed to continue because if we do, that makes... It makes our job so much more difficult, politics and such. Excuse me, you're from the Majesty. here. We'll attack my father. I have declared war on Green Guard with your most recent assault and you're here to negotiate. Regarding the matter of your king, that was an unfortunate accident. Indeed, we have our sincerest apologies extended to you by the Shapeless. Sincerest apologies. However, the most recent assault, as you put it, was not our doing. The voice screeching that it is in fact your doing seems to indicate otherwise. Not entirely our doing. The Shapeless only willed that we open one or two of these rifts at a time. However, the open rifts are now no longer under magisterium control. Somewhat, something or someone has interfered. So we've, came, we've come, at great cost and personal risk, to offer our assistance in controlling the rifts. And you can close them? Well, no, that requires the combined might of the magisterium, and, it is also required, and it also requires the rifts being back under our control. My Queen, you can't seriously be considering trusting them? They are our enemies, they attacked your father. You make a fair point, Jania. How can we trust you, Golden Hand of the Shapeless Empire? You claim that your attack on my father was an accident. If you don't, then we are all idiots. We expect you to trust us because if you don't, then you'll not find another way to close the rifts. And their influence will only keep spreading until it covers all of law. And you'll probably imprison or execute us. I wouldn't like that. But we've closed the rift already. Surely you can find another way. Oh, the hero. Let's play EF. Yes, of course you'll be here too. About that closure, I don't suppose you'll be willing to divulge how that was managed. No, I don't think I will. What a shame. Unfortunately for you, we know the magic of the rifts and we know that they are not closed so easily. So you probably can't do it again, probably. And my father? You've apologized, but explain yourselves. Why did your golems attack us? It was an accident. We sincerely apologize. It seemed quite deliberate to me. Our information regarding the hierarchy of the kingdom was misinformed. The Magisterium was under the impression that the king was subservient to the rose. Preposterous, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> are you satisfied with that answer? I am, we can discuss reparations later. Reparations? Ah, uh, uh, yes, certainly. So what is it that you want exactly, Seslava or Shomir? We require free passage across Green Guard as well as some protection when we near the rifts. We have to get close to make our adjustments. And what is the nature of these adjustments? We will bring the rifts back under Magisterium control and manually adjust their size as to no longer be a threat. When we have completed our task, we will send word back to the Empire and the process of closing will begin. Why do you require our cooperation for this? Would, couldn't you just teleport where you needed to go? Teleportation is a tricky magic and our adjustments take time. Very risky and expensive. It wouldn't do us any good if we arrived at the rift and our mangled remains were remangled by elementals. Lady Jenna, Lady Kara, let's play the end. What are your thoughts? Will these rifts remain closed afterward? That depends on Jenna. If she stops her snooping around Magisterium territory, then the rifts will stay closed. I cannot promise that. Then we cannot either. But why attack the kingdom? If Jania is intruding on Magisterium ground, can you not defend against the rose there? The fissure is a place of extreme magical energy. To send forces to do combat there will be unfeasible in the long term, for both the Magisterium and the rose. Attempting to create a rift there could have unpredictable results. The current rifts force the resources of the rose away from the fissure. The kingdom being caught in the crossfire is regrettable, but... But we now understand the rose answers to Sword Haven. Rest assured, the Shapeless does not wish to conquer your lands, only to do what it takes to stop the rose's interference. Does that answer your question? It does, but I must disagree with your methods wholeheartedly. I have an inquiry. Where do the rifts lead? You don't know? What kind of backwards tier? I'm afraid we cannot divulge the information. Then we will find out on our own. Good for you. As long as it keeps your precious nose out of the fissure. I. Any more questions or can we get to work? The Magisterium has caused great harm and damage to the Kingdom of Green Guard and its people. 
However, the situation is as dire as not only you, Seslava and Oshome have told me, but Lady Kara and SPDF as well as our own scouts. Then I see no other choice. Seslava, Oshome are the golden hand of the Shapeless Empire. I grant you free passage. Passage only though. Should you break our laws or be found doing anything untoward or suspicious, you will be executed. So dramatic. It will only be fair if you were to go back on our work. Lady General, you are free to continue your research, provided that you manage your troops and keep away from the official. Thank you, my queen. We must protect the people of Vinga. No, all of law first. Then we can resume our petty political squabbles. The Rose and the Vin will work together to protect the people of the kingdom while the Golden Hand does its work. At no point will interference or subterfuge be tolerated. Is that clear? Understood. Yes, your majesty. Of course. And what should I do? I leave that up to you, Lespidia. If you may assist the Rose or the Vin in their endeavors, or should you choose to, you may aid in escorting the Golden Hand. Yes, your majesty. I'm doing it, father. Wherever you are, I hope you're proud. So this is a little different because later on we see that she actually doesn't want her father meddling anymore. And would rather, you know, she has full control of, the, of everything. So yeah. Oh, this is the quest where you get ribbon of compromise. Okay. So if you're unable to beat the in challenge, then I guess this is your best install or resist belt. For those of you guys who are NDA players, okay, so I'm going to skip this because that's the DA version. Uh, so yeah, that was a rather lengthy quest, but most of it is dialogue. So yeah, there were a few battles, but nonetheless, uh, still manageable. Okay, so I think they definitely will revamp that quest and change some part of it, especially the weird layering. But uh, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the episode down in the comment section below. And if you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel. If you guys would like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Carbon Gaming. Peace out.